One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and we got the clay bar here, and we're gonna show you a little clay bar on a car. Clay bar on a car, that's right. And mainly, what I wanna show you is, although this looks clean, and you can clean it out and soap it out, we're gonna get our squirting stuff here, and we're gonna squirt this down and kinda do a little bit of it um, to where you can see. Basically, our clay bar is not gonna be for cars no more. Our clay bar is seen its better days. And this video is gonna mainly be about when to replace your clay bar. And you'll also notice, um, unless they've made some kind of improvement in the past few years since I've been claying cars, but they'll get a lot more pliable and squishy and yucky and just bleh into nothing to where it just kind of dissolves. Look at it dissolving in his hand. Kind of silly putty-ish. More than when they're new. They'll be a lot firmer when they're new. Right, Trent? Yes. 100%. Um, so no, they haven't came up with any new polymer putty or nothing to put in them to make it stop doing that. So that's one way to tell, is that it'll just start falling apart a lot easier. And the other way is, it's just not doing the job that it used to do. And honestly, it's so cheap. Um, it's 10 bucks for a nice, well, 8 bucks you can get them on Amazon. I'm sure you'll pay some shipping. Buy in bulk, maybe a bit better. You can get some Chinese ones for about 4 bucks, 5 bucks a piece, which I'm sure might actually do fine, maybe for a less number of cars. I haven't used them. We usually use a decent clay. Um, but it'll still do a job. It'll still take and make it look a little better. Uh, we're gonna stop right there to where you can still see the fender. And we're gonna wipe this stuff off to where you can see the difference of it with the clay on it and with the clay off of it. And just what the clay does and what the clay doesn't do, I guess you would say. And to make it even a bit more obvious to you, I'm gonna have Trent clay this exact piece right there, just a little square, and he's gonna go up that ridge to where you can see that, and at the same time, you'll hit this ridge. So, that's what he's doing now, and you're gonna see that on this, number one, it's a lot smoother, like a baby's butt, man. How do I know? I don't have no kids. That's just what people say, dang it! So, that is just stinking nice. Look at there. And that, you can see, still has some discoloration. So it takes out a lot of the discoloration. And the neat thing is it does it without buffing and swirling in what's on it. Now we've washed this thing hard. You hear that? Scratch, scratch, scratch versus squeak, squeak, squeak. Now he's clayed and clayed and clayed and clayed. Man, you know, I hire this guy to do stuff around here with me. He's a good guy. He's my friend and stuff. But all he wants to do is play with mud all day and stuff. I just don't know, man. But that is good stuff. He has clayed that very nicely with a crappy clay bar, if that makes any sense to you. Basically, he gave a very nice good with that clay, job with that clay on a car that really, the bar is no good. You can see. <laughs> there ain't no squeak on the return. So very, not important I guess to do it. You could do it without it, but you can sure see the difference. And before you buff, if you got something like this that's older, you know, not 100% because it's not really 100% porous, but a lot of it to me, I think is about kind of finessing the paint back to a more non-dry state. And you're basically, the only way to do it is to peel off enough of it that it gets it that smoothness again. And as you see here, we didn't do this. This is just what it is. That part's not gonna have much paint on that little middle part, but it's just gonna be that section. Maybe we'll cut a hole in it and put like five little pipes sticking out. Hey, man. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. That's the clay bar on the car, and we shall talk to you. Check out my websites, also beaglepockets.com. We'll talk to you.